Owen. He was shot in the line of duty on Thursday during a traffic stop. A fellow deputy was wounded. And we have learned more about the suspect in this case. To bring you up to speed, we saw a manhunt lasting almost five days. The suspect on the run for five nights. He was captured dramatically yesterday afternoon in Knoxville, some 20 miles away from the original shooting scene on Thursday. This entire community has been on edge while this manhunt has been underway. For more on his future, I turn to my colleague Libby Cunningham. Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. could be facing the death penalty. He's going to be in court for the first time in this case Thursday at 9 a.m. He's charged with first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, and for being a felon in possession of a deadly weapon. All of these charges stem from what police say happened at a traffic stop on Sevierville Road last week. He is accused of shooting and killing Deputy Greg McCowan and shooting deputy Shelby Eggers. It will be up to Blunt County District Attorney Ryan Desmond to determine if this is a death penalty case. Desmond said during a press conference he's speaking to Blunt County Deputy Greg McCallum's family before making the decision and that he expects to make the call soon. Sheriff James Barong said he hopes the death penalty is on the table for this case. I want the death penalty. I want to go. But it'll be his, uh, General Desmond's decision. DeHart Jr. has been in trouble with the law before in both Blunt and Sevier counties. Previously, he's faced charges for unlawful possession of a weapon, aggravated assault, domestic violence, assault, and violating a protection order. He also served time in prison connected to a federal weapons charge from 2004. Currently, he's at the Loudoun County Jail.